Hello everybody, this is Jay Goodman with Absolute Zero Internet Studios and welcome to the first of a series in basic WordPress tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm going to go over some WordPress definitions. These are going to be some terms that I'll be using throughout this tutorial series. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to talk about is the front end. And this is the front end of a website. This is what the this is what the end user sees. Let's talk a little bit about the anatomy of the front end. Now this is the home page. Now if I click on one of the interior pages, you're going to see a different layout. And that's because there are two different templates that I'm using. One is the home page, the main page that you come to, the landing page. And this kind of is the summary page. This is the exciting page. This is the, hey, come in and take a look and see all the cool stuff that I have. And then this is kind of a more uniformed look where everything is lined up systematically. And it's set up that way so that everything inside the website has a uniform look to it. Now, in one of these inside pages, I want to break down the anatomy of a typical web page. The anatomy of a typical web page is a header, which is, it consists of a logo. Logo. Then you've got your navigation. That's another section. Next, we've got the body, the body of the page, which is where the content, the main content of the page is. And then we have a sidebar here. A sidebar is it's kind of a specialized area that's used to feature small bits of content or images. So it could be maybe referencing another part of the website or displaying an advertisement or a call to action. We have a call to action here to set up a viewing or to download a rental application. And then finally, we've got the footer here. This is used to either show some links. Here's copyright area. So the footer is used to kind of close out the web page and kind of give the user a reference. Hey, if you're lost, you can always come down here to the footer and kind of find your <laughs> footing. All right, next I want to talk about the back end. The back end is where you're going to go to change the look of the site. How do we get to the back end? Well, we're going to click on this address tab here and hit forward slash WP admin. That's going to take us to a login page. I'll put in my login here and my super secret password. And this is going to take me to the WordPress dashboard or the admin back end. Next we're going to talk about the page editor and that's when we're adding a page or modifying a page. This is the default WordPress page editor where you can put in content and images that are going to show up in that main content area. Next I want to talk about themes. What is a theme? <laughs> this is a theme. Okay. The theme is the overall look and feel of the website. So if I could give you an analogy, it would be to think of this website as a car. Now WordPress is the engine that powers that car. And the theme would be the interior and the exterior. So in its simplest form, every car has an engine, but it's the interior and exterior that differentiate the vehicle. So a WordPress theme is that interior and exterior of your website. There are thousands upon thousands of different themes that have different functionality. Fortunately, what I do is I pick out a theme that's going to be the easiest for you to manage. Well, one of those themes has some functionality called a page builder. And what this page builder does is it replaces this traditional WordPress page editor with this really slick intuitive system that lets you build page layouts visually and then populate the content. So I'll get into that a little bit later, but this is a page builder. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Now that you are familiar with some of this basic lingo, you'll understand what I'm talking about going forward in the next tutorials. Thanks for watching.